everyone, I'm here with an unboxing video. I was so excited. So this was a bit of a purchase on a whim. Um, I have this deck. Well, you've seen from that title already what it is. Um, this deck holds some nostalgia for me, some 90s nostalgia. It is the Enchanted Tarot, and it is the 25th anniversary edition. So it would have come out in like 92, I think it was. I got this deck um, in the 90s. I feel like I had this deck and I gave it to my roommate at the time because she really, really loved it. Like I just associated with her so much. Um, and I associate it with, you know, my time in university, the very particular time in my life. So when I saw this, I was like, ooh, I was kind of on the fence and I was like, no, you gotta get it. So um, silly me did not bring scissors for this, but, um, oh, well, the, luckily the plastic tears off easily. So let's get this off. I have been waiting to unbox this very patiently um, this week. I bought it last week and I've been like, oh, I need to unbox that. So um, yeah, but I thought it would be patient so I could unbox it for all of you. Okay, a little bag here for the garbage. There we go. Okay, so it comes in a nice box with a lid. That's really, really cool. You know, I do like a good packaging. So we've got here what looks like a book. Oh, a couple of things. Okay. So it comes with, oh, it's a bag. Okay, so it comes with a nice purple bag to store your deck in. Um, I'll probably put the bag in the box because, you know, I'm, I'm not totally big on bags, but I do appreciate that they gave us like a nice purpley velvet. That's really cool. Very nice. Um, that'll be garbage. And then it comes with a nice book, The Enchanted Tarot. Oh, and it's got like color thumbnails, a nice write-up, uh, The Awakening, The Enchantment. There's a quick read, a message, and an outcome. So yeah, really, really nice color book. That's always impressive. Um, what do we got here? It is about 200 pages. So that's pretty thick. And then it's got like a quick reference at the back with thumbnails. So that's really cool. And it's got even the um, minor arcana. It's got like a full page for each of them. So that, that's pretty cool that it's got like some good, some good information about it. So they've got examples of spreads, your traditional Celtic cross, of course. Um, talks about the major arcana, what they mean, basic three card reading, and they give an example reading too, to help you out if you're new. Uh, one card, quick readings, reversals, so it's kind of like a good, you know, your definite little information, but it looks like a nice chunky book, so I appreciate that. And it's in color, which you know you don't always get, so I appreciate that as well. Now let's get to the cards. Ooh, oh they're huge, they're huge. The ones that I had back in the 90s were like regular tarot half the size. This, this is ginormous. Look how long these are. Just to give you an idea. Here's a regular deck. Look at that. That's crazy. I don't know if I like them being that big, to be honest. You know, I like being able to lay out all the cards in um, uh, on a table. And sometimes if they're too big, that can be a little bit too much. Okay. So they're very long. I do love the backs though. The gold, that is beautiful. Cardstock. Oh, it's nice. It's like a glossy, it's kind of thin so you can rifle shuffle it, which I don't mind. Um, very smooth. So I do like that. Okay. Um, borders I think are a bit big with the purple. I seem to remember that the ones I had back then were kind of smaller and not so much of a border, but mind you, if it was smaller, the border would have been smaller. So they're very collage-y, as you can see, um, which is not everybody's art style. And I'm usually not a huge collage type person, um, but I do, this, like I said, this deck holds some nostalgia for me. High Priestess. So all of the Major Arcana have this purple um, border on them. Well, okay, I'm not going to show you them all. Oh, justice, I love this one. It's beautiful. Lots of purples in the Major Arcana. Oh, Death, I love Death. He's just walking along. He's like, hey, what's going on? I'm just walking along, looking for someone to kill. Um, temperance, really beautiful. 
not a huge fan of the devil. I think the devil could have been done a lot better. It's just not very devil-y to me. I got the tower. Oh, and the moon. I like the moon. Don't like faces of the moon. You probably won't like that. Um, and then we have the wands, which have yellow around them, kind of like a gold color. I feel like the colors aren't as punchy as um, they were in the original deck. And also, I don't remember them being different colored borders, so I think they changed that as well. So this is the colors I feel like are a little more muted than they were in the original. I do like they have Princess and Prince of Wands. There's the Queen of Wands, as opposed to Pages of Knights. The swords have blue around them. There's the swords. So it doesn't have the heart in it, which I kind of like, because it becomes kind of, you know, there's so many. Ooh, five swords look very, very ominous. Five swords. Uh, six of swords, I like that with the boat and everything. So they're very much like a Rider Waite Smith um, base deck. Ten of swords. There's your Princess of Swords. Put the blue in there. Okay, and then for um, the cups are called hearts in this deck, and they have pink around them, which makes sense with their hearts. Two of hearts, like it's a very romantic deck, I find. Like it's just, it's got a lot of romance to it. It makes me think of like scrapbooks, kind of, and like Victorian. It's got like a Victorian mix of, um, yeah, it's kind of, it's got this Victorian type style and this Victorian nostalgia for things. Um, which I quite like. The Princess of Hearts. All right, and then we have the Pentacles, which are green. I think I'm gonna use this perhaps for my February book. Three of Pentacles. There's the six. Ten of Pentacles. I like that it's got a castle there. Very cool. Okay. Ten of Pentacles. There you go. So as you can see, it's a larger deck, so I'm not sure how the shuffling is. I wish the colors um, weren't so muted. I feel like in the original, like I said, they weren't. I do love these backs though. Like that gold. Oh, that's just gorgeous. I wish the sides were gold too, and that this was a little more colorful. I don't know how I feel about the borders um, being different colors. You know, I feel like it mutes out some of the colors in um, the actual picture itself. Like, I almost wish that it didn't have a border or just one on the bottom with the name of what the card is. Um, so, it's not quite the same deck as what it was back in the 90s, obviously. But I do appreciate um, the repackaging of it. It looks like the book is really solid. It's nice that it comes with a bag. I don't know, will it fit in the bag? Because the bag looks a little, a little small, but... Let's see, because that would suck if the cards were too big for the bag. That would not be well thought out. Oh no, okay, here we go. It does fit, just, but it does fit. So there we go, got them in a nice purple velvety bag. So let me know what you think. Do you have the original Enchanted Tarot? Did you get the reprint? What do you think about working with it? What do you think about the sides? I'm gonna have to work with it, see what I think of it. Um, let me know, like and subscribe.